Okay, morning, folks. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Friday, the 1st of December. It's certainly cold out there this morning. I was walking the dog and it's sort of fairly hard frost on the ground. Um, I think that eventually the temperature will go a few degrees above freezing, but not very much. Um, so what have we got today? Well, a bit of a sort of slack system in here. Just scroll up a little bit so you can see that the whole thing with uh, um, with very little sort of close spacing on the isobars. Well, it's quite wide spacing on the isobars, just a light easterly drift down the channel and a bit more northerly drift um, across the centre of the country. Uh, they painted in these um, trough lines. Uh, I think they will be more related to sort of the coastal areas because um, there's currently... Uh, um, sort of line of rain down the edge of the, the sort of North Sea coast here and a bit down the, on the South coast. I uh, don't think that's going to affect us, to be honest. Uh, but a fairly slack system, as you can see. Um, and then tomorrow, really a similar sort of very slack picture in here, which does tend to mean that you know, with, with sort of effectively high pressure, you get a lot of cloud trapped um, in there and without a, a real increase in temperature, there's the risk that you're going to have sort of mist low cloud um, or a, a solid uh, lower cloud base um, all day. So perhaps today, uh, Farnborough's key points, yes, yeah, light, north, northeasterly, uh, they're sort of covering all the bases really sort of mist broken at 400 feet uh, which really means low cloud for us because they're 400 feet lower than we are um, and then improving somewhat and the best it appears to get with this forecast is scattered at 2000 feet so it's lift up and break up um, they're also putting in their freezing fog um and a tempo in between that uh, broken at a thousand feet. So you get all sorts of cloud forecasts and freezing fog. Um, Gatwick, very similar. Looking at all the other forecasts, the only one that's uh, slightly different is Stansted that sh shows sort of snow showers coming in off the North Sea. Uh, but I don't think they're going to get to us um, today. Upper winds, northeasterly, 040. Um, not particularly strong, 15 knots by the looks of it, another forecast look about the same. And sat pick doesn't really show a, a, a great deal, a sort of odd sort of overcast areas just in here, and more showers and rain, as, as I said, down over the English Channel and out into the North Sea. Uh, but that's probably where they're going to stay. And you can see those on the rainfall radar. I just sort of popped it up just to show you. I don't think that's ever going to come across us. Um, but they will just drift across East Anglia um, during the day in the northeasterly wind. Temperature-wise, it is not going to feel warm, that's for sure. Um I think that's probably about right three to four degrees at best uh, with a wind chill bringing it down to feel like zero i haven't looked at what the current lash and weather station is but i suspect it's around about zero at the moment top medio changed a bit since i looked at it very very early this morning uh, showing cloud uh, showing it blue first thing this morning uh, at about five o'clock and then that cloud staying there till midday and breaking up for the afternoon. These are sort of showers coming down here, but but we're we're going to be affected by cloud uh, for most of the day. Um, it really is just a matter of keeping looking out the window and then seeing what happens, seeing it's beginning to break up and lift up. Uh, Okay, well, that's it really. Like north, north, northeasterly winds and cloudy, uh, hopefully going up enough to let us fly. Airspace wise, 
Uh, not a lot going on. Hopefully, you know, um, and nothing really, really down here, and anything else to worry about. Lots of notifications of hang gliding and paragliding around the country, but that's really about it. I would like to be flying a hang glider or paraglider in these chilly conditions. Um, operationally, no jet movements. I haven't seen any flight plans yet. There's nothing forecast. Um, but I'm sure we'll be informed if anything suddenly happens. So no jet movements and no Navajos. And operationally, we'll probably be on zero 09. I can't see any other way of operating. The ground is pretty solid. It's all usable. The, the frost has been fairly hard the last couple of days. So it'll probably be a fairly normal um, zero 09 setup with the cables on the, the south side and the guys on the grass. There's no having a, a runway only operation the ground is fairly fairly firm um and that really is about it mike birch is running the airfield today um, i'm sure he'll keep an eye on the weather and if it is flyable uh we'll go out and get things going have fun folks <laughs>